do not adjust your set. The horizontal and the vertical may be on hold, but Comic Guru 24 is back. Today we are joined by some masters of the vault. Yes, little, little bits and pieces that we found that we've had forever can be yours. All it takes is that courage to pick them up. Yes, and the first one on the shelf is... You too can wind up Ghost Rider. If I wouldn't recommend doing it to the real thing, but yes, you too can own this lovely little Ghost Rider Twistum. It can wobble across the floor at about one mile an hour on your living room carpet, on your living room table, on your small intestine. It's up to you, entirely up to you, yes. The only one we have at £5.49. Twistum Ghost Rider. Let's twist again, like we did last summer. Yeah, mm? Hang on, he's making rude gestures again. Put that away, Merlin, that's disgusting. Seriously? What are you doing to him? Oh, I don't, do you know what? Don't even want to know. Right, Halo, and well met. <laughs> you two can have a Cortana on a light up base. Only two left of the original first series of the 10th anniversary collection. <gasps> 10 years of Halo, my God, that's a lot of welcome. Bad joke of the week, number 272. Actually, what was his real name again? This is still John Horace, but it's actually a very limited figure created to go along with the comic series by Warren Ellis called Black Summer. Yes, it's, it's designed to be like the old 1970s mego styly things. Um, have a closer look if you can. Looking all mean, moody and magnificent. Now, ordinarily I hate and loathe mego style figures. And I still do. I think this looks absolutely awful. But it is actually a limited edition that was created. Only, only about 200 were made. And it was to celebrate the launch of this comic. A very good comic, by the way. We have issues on sale in the shop. Just check the website for details. Uh, and basically, get this. If you're a completist, then you'll want this, I'm sure. Smear it gently along the body. Oh, hang on. I was reading the actual clip card then. I thought I'd do a novel. It's uh, very novel of me. And then I thought I'd do a graphic novel. It's terribly artistic, you know. But I'll review them both separately. This one, this one is a novel by Christopher Golden. I actually set, thought Christopher Nolan earlier on because I'd misread it. Unfortunately, uh, I'm sort of wearing the right T-shirt for that. Actually, it's a hoodie. I can't put the hood up. I'd end up having to ban myself from my own shop. It's a terrible thing when that happens. Anyway, yes, by Christopher Golden, The Lost Army. Hellboy, a large jockstrap called Peter. <gasps> I made up that last bit, but it's actually really well written. A nice little novel that you will enjoy, especially if you like a nice bit of Hellboy action. Yes, you too can be the ones that bump back. Ha <laughs> ha! Anyway, this is the next one, and this one I'm going to take a bit more seriously than all the others, because quite frankly I really like this one. This is Heartbreakers Meet Boilerplate, and it's done using a simple process called paintography, which is... Um, where an artist takes an actual uh, photograph, draws out across the photograph uh, with the fantasy images, and then takes both, colours them as if, as if it was a real comic. But the thing is, they've created a level of reality there, which this story sort of runs with. Because it's a, it's a story that's made of, obviously, comic strips, combined with fake old newspaper strips and old advert strips. Uh, not comic strips, mind, but adverts from the 1920s, 1930s. It's a really cool use of history to give some depth and reality to um, a brilliant little fantasy graphic novel. Uh, as far as I know, the only the one, uh, everything from Kung Fu clones to sort of robot romance to say the least, it is fun, excellent stuff and I thoroughly recommend it. Heartbreakers meet bromance, meet robots, meet wombles, meet Kung Fu clones, meet everything. They all terribly, terribly well met, hail and well met. Snow and well met. Sleet and well met. <gasps> okay, I'm losing it now. Goodbye. And remember, soon comes the relaunch that you've all been waiting for. Comic Guru Co Universe Update, number 25. We've been doing an awful lot of work for the past few months to make sure that when we do relaunch, it's very different and very much fun. I hope to see you there.